Hey guys, Howard here with a, a little bit more Jack White. This is a Sunday Driver, which he actually did with his uh, band, one of his several bands. And um, I do a lot of complicated stuff or advanced stuff, but I love doing this stuff as well because I think if you haven't been playing guitar very long, you can really wrap your head around this stuff and get moving, and uh, or if you just appreciate a great rock riff. So anyway, let's get started. Uh, the first thing I'm doing is I'm placing uh, my two middle fingers. You can use your first two fingers if you want to, but I like to use my two middle fingers on the seventh fret on the second string, the second from the bottom, of course, and the seventh fret on the third string from the bottom. And I'm hitting both of those strings at the same time with an upstroke. And then swinging with a downstroke to the D string, the third string from the top and then the bottom string open and then back to that D string. Like so. And you want to play that with a, a, a pretty clean sound. he busts out into the main riff where you definitely want to use uh, a healthy dose of uh, grind okay it's not super distorted like metal but it's it's got a nice crunch to it and I'm just using my uh, orange practice amp for this a little uh, practice puppy that I like to play through <laughs> riff is played uh, with your first finger at the seventh fret on the fifth string the A string and then the ninth fret on the D string and the ninth fret on the G string uh, but what's really important about this is that you also bar across those same strings with your first finger and that can be kind of tricky if you haven't been playing very long but it's vitally important because you hit the chord twice and then you would pull this hammer on or you're hammering from the barred strings to the two strings at the ninth fret. It's a real cool riff and a really nice sound. And then you simply move it up one set of strings. So now I'm on the top string, the fifth string, and the uh, fourth string. Barring and then hammering on. Just like so. And then you take this whole thing and you move it down a whole step. And that's the riff. is actually played on bass, kind of a fuzz tone bass, a classic 60s sort of fuzz tone sound. But it's cool to play it on guitar, especially if you're just kind of playing along with the song or playing by yourself. So uh, that goes like so. pretty much explains that one, but I'll play it nice and slow anyway. And then after the bass plays at a couple of rounds, uh, the guitar comes in playing pretty much the same lick an octave higher, but it's not exactly the same. So that one nice and slow is. So you can play the bass part essentially a couple of times and then just jump on that part. And we're not 
covering the crazy whammy pedal stuff because I don't have one. <laughs> so there you go. And another part that you're going to run into is as the song starts climaxing, uh, you'll hear those chords. Basically, this is an E, a B, a D, and an A when he's doing this bit. <laughs> And then they just start busting out those same chords in uh, full-on position uh, to make them sound nice and big. And they'll put right over the top of that. And those two parts sound pretty cool together. So uh, the first chord is an E, followed by a B, a D, and an A. And you can play that simply, you can do it with downstrokes, even though it's actually upbeat stuff. Or with downstrokes. Either way is totally fine, and there's definitely some layering of guitars going on here, and I like where I start hearing those major thirds in there, so I just kind of play it like this. So that's a nice little additional thing you can toss in there. Sunday Driver from Jack White and the Raconteurs. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching the video. If you get a chance to subscribe, please do. Hit the like button and we'll see you guys soon.